the Supremes. They changed the musical landscape, the way they sounded, the way they looked, their influence would be felt way beyond the 60s. Mary Wilson co-founded what went on to become the Supremes when she was still at school in Detroit. Signed to Motown, Wilson, alongside Dinah Ross and Florence Ballard in the original lineup, had 12 number one hits between 1964 and 69. Today online, Dinah Ross, who left the band in 1970, said, my condolences to you, Mary's family. I'm reminded that each day is a gift. I have so many wonderful memories of our time together. Baby love, my baby love. The band's legacy meant Mary Wilson remained in demand here on the American show Dancing with the Stars. She was planning to release new material to mark the Supreme's 60th anniversary, posting this excited message online just two days before she died. I finally have worked, decided how to work with Universal, and they are going to release new recordings, Mary Wilson recordings. Yes, at last! The Supreme's image as three glamorous, sophisticated black women was credited by some as helping to drive cultural change in the 60s. Years later, Wilson became an avid collector of the iconic clothing. <laughs> 18 months ago, we reunited her with one long lost outfit found by Amber Savage, the owner of a vintage clothing store. It's not just an outfit, it's a moment, isn't it? It's a very important moment for you. It's, it's more than important. It's, Im it's important because for someone to care enough, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> It's like your child is coming home. What can I say? <laughs> the Supremes lineup changed, but Mary Wilson remained constant, staging exhibitions, writing books. How tragic that her plans to continue this dedicated journey have ended so suddenly. Very sad. The wonderful Mary Wilson, whose death was announced today.